Jonas Bierstein one day before um, main main PLMA, PLMMA event in Poland. Hello, welcome, nice to meet you. Um, it's a difficult time for uh, to be a fighter right after Christmas, right? Yeah, that wasn't my best Christmas yet, definitely. <laughs> but you know, you, you do what you have to do for the sport and it goes, goes first. So, you know, it's Christmas, but the, the fight is bigger than any Christmas, so it's so, not that bad. So what did you sacrifice to, to be here today and fight tomorrow? Well, um, I didn't sacrifice too much, actually. But so uh, on Christmas, I didn't sacrifice too much. So I was uh, quite heavy on the day before. Uh, the scale, so I had to suffer a lot. Like the last day, didn't eat one day and uh, didn't drink one day, and then uh, a lot of a uh, lot of uh, sweating, weight cutting, and then luckily I made it right, right on point, right because it was 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 everything I had. So there was a situation with uh, 300 grams above the, the limit. Is it uh, is it because of the weight they used or? No, no, it was quite funny actually because the definitely for sure the scale uh, they used here is a bit, you know, it's not, not the best scale in the world. So it was uh, like 300 grams too much, and um, because I was right on point on my scale, uh, and then you know my opponent of course wanted me to cut the last 200 pounds would have would would have been a big issue for me you know we are cutting after cut out cutting after cutting is is heavy you know and uh, but uh, lucky he was also right on point with his perfect scale so we both had the same weight uh, and then you know we, we just just agreed on just to fight was uh, yeah. was good luck then and you're fighting Antoni Chmielewski, very difficult opponent and you, ch you 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 took this fight as a late notice fight He's a dangerous fighter. So why, why, what is your motive? Why did you uh, take this fight? Yeah, my main motive is that I want to fight. You know, it's the main motive for uh, hope for every fighter. Um, but I was preparing for another fight. Actually, that guy backed off because <laughs> we, we literally was asking for an easier opponent because he was uh, injured. So he wanted to fight someone who was not that dangerous. You know, I don't consider myself dangerous, but he did obviously. Uh, so it was with a lot of fight and then uh, luckily Anthony Smielewski was I don't know if he was also preparing for a fight but I was yeah, he was okay yeah. good yeah then we both uh, was lucky to to meet each other as far as I know uh, team Leidecker your your manager uh, you have a free fight winning streak right at this at, at this moment so I, I believe for you as a fighter who who was a Bellator fighter uh, with a free winning streak you are preparing for for something big I believe yeah, of course. You know, it's, it's not uh, you can you can say it. You know, the the main goal is always to go into the UFC if you want to fight professionally, and uh, that's what I'm aiming for. And uh, yeah, I hope that fight is a, you know, just a step, a step in the right direction. Is your career at this point, uh, when you're just 23 uh, years old with 16 fights, 13 wins, I believe it's a it's a good moment for you. Is it is it the, is it uh, is your career uh, the way? As you wish to, it happened uh, uh, the way you wish to. Actually, I feel uh, right the same. Actually, I um, think this is for me. You know, I had actually I haven't had a UFC fight offer uh, before, but I was really young then, and uh, I also think that this would have been too early. Um, but now I think now is the perfect moment, and it would be perfect. You know, it would be good for me to get in right now. I feel on the point of my career where I wanted to do the next the big next big step. You know, I saw everything that is to be seen outside of the UFC, and then, uh, I'm really looking forward to go into there. So I hope it works. You know, you never can say that this is the moment now, and I'm going to do it. You know, we always need some luck. We always need some whatever. It's um, needed too bad, but I'm ready. And finally, you fought for Bellator, and I believe the last fight for Bellator was uh, was a win for you. So why did you stop uh, fighting for them? Uh, Bellator, um, oh, big topic. Um, in the end, it was two less fights. You know, if you, uh, I was actually supposed to fight in the tournament there, which was what I wanted to do, and I was happy about that. But then uh, things uh, went wrong, and I didn't make it into the tournament. And um, although Bellator is a good organization, it's not the place to be if you're not fighting in a tournament. You know, if you're not fighting in a tournament, then um, there's really little space for all the fighters who are not tournament fighters. Uh, they have really little space on the fight cards, so you fight like one or two times a year. That's not what I wanted to do. And um, so I, I was really struggling to make it out of there and finally made it. And now you'll see. So I hope. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. I, I, I'm. Uh, so have a have a great rest of the holiday. Have a happy new year and all the best for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.